Uh, thank that Ushenka. I actually rubbed some of my makeup off. <laughs> oh, well, we're going to be in the desert now. So another thing you guys are going to learn about me is, uh, holy shit, I'm actually not, as you would say, a typical, stereotypical, or even generally speaking, a fan of Star Wars. Like, I can appreciate Star Wars, but it's sad because I believe Star Wars is completely 100% unutilized to its full potential. Like, to me, when the Star Wars Battlefront game came out long ago, and I was like still in middle school, not the reboot, the one that only I can say people who have self-respect can remember. <laughs> when the, you know, and like you had this, this battle royal of like 300 plus people and like you can get an all, like it was revolutionary because you can pilot these, you know, weapons and vehicles that we like. But up to there to at the time when LucasArts that actually made the uh, Star Wars games, uh, they were going to make a game called Star Wars 1313. And it was supposed to be Ray at M. And it was like, to me, it's taking Star Wars to a complete different level to where it deserves to be. Not just say just because of adult content, but because it's expanding its horizon with, say, violence, um, gore, politics. I mean, who knows? And that's something like, for example, I know that uh, post-apocalyptic games, survival horror is really kind of being watered down too much. Like... Battle Royal games. However, what the fuck would a Star Wars post-apocalyptic or even survival game look or feel like? So, you know, that's something that I've always been like kind of set off with Star Wars, but I can appreciate it. But bounty hunters, speeder bikes, the idea of like, you know, for example, you could take the toys you buy at the store put them outside against a brick wall, chain link fence, and a heap of grass, it fits. And that's something that about Star Wars that's really special, and that's why I kind of always kept a foot half in, half out. But Boba Fett, Django Fett, Bounty Hunters, Speeder Bikes, I've always loved them. So, you know, when The Mandalorian came out, I still kind of didn't want to watch it. But then again, uh, when Bill Burr was announced to be in it, I'll watch just because of Bill Burr. <laughs> but the book of Boba Fett, I'm on board. I can't wait. Let's check it out. I am not a bounty hunter. <laughs> cool. All right. Oh, shit. Traditional. Oh, they... The guy, I don't know that fucker's name, but it's the same guy that played... Like, I know they're probably clones from each other, but Django Fett raised Boba Fett like, kind of like his own kid, like, at least we remember. But, oh, shit. I wonder if he's actually... Like, clearly, he's playing Boba Fett, not Django Fett, but, like, you know, there's actually some really cool shit that's going to be here. I'm actually really excited already. <laughs> oh, shit. Now, I'm kind of curious how he survived out of the, uh, the sand pit monster, too. I know that you sit on the throne. Of and speaking of that, if people don't know any lore or like information about that sand pit monster, that shit is of nightmares. Like, and see, that's one thing why I've always been offset. What would heck, a survival game of getting out of that pit monster would have been like for Boba Fett? <laughs> but if you guys don't know it, check it out. You can find it on YouTube. It's really interesting. Back to the trailer. The former employer. Oh, shit. Expanding on the world. Cool. Java ruled with fear. I intend to rule with respect. <laughs> captains under Jabba the Hutt. I'm here to make a proposal that's mutually beneficial. Why speak of conflict when cooperation can make us all rich? Yeah, there it is. 
prevents us all from Let's killing ship back. and taking what we want. If he had spoken such insolence to Java, he'd have fed you to his menagerie. Please. Speak freely. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oh man, this is. I'm actually. Ooh, coming soon too. Holy shit. Yeah, let's not leave that there too long. I don't want to get copyrighted and get effed. So, yeah, holy shit. That looks really good. Um, yeah, another thing you guys can learn about me is I've already stated before, I don't like Marvel movies too much. I, I don't like superhero movies too much. It, it's, it's boring. But character studies are my absolute favorite. Like, I, I don't know why. I, it's like, I don't know. Like, a friend of mine told me once long ago about this um, character that's in the MCU, Doctor Strange or something. And he has these magic abilities. And, you know, what she said was right. Like, her superpower is not powerful enough, but you have to have magic abilities. Like, what the hell? And I can't disagree with her. So, now, character studies are awesome. I'm okay with action. You know, the action's awesome, but this is something else, and I can't wait for it. What do you guys think? Let me know. Check it out.